My mom found and threw away my box of ants. I was so close to having enough ants. <laughs> For what, Will? <laughs> What's up? You're watching Hive Mind, the most dilapidated show on the internet. My name is Riley, as always, and my roller coaster of a co host, Graydon. <laughs> Today, we're signing artists to Internet Funny Records. This is Best, best Tweets tweet of All Time Tier List. We asked our followers on Twitter what they thought the best tweet of all time was. We're, we're gonna rank their responses tier list style, S through F. Before we get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you wanna see more, HiveMindTV.com for our merch, and also check out our Patreon. It's only $5 a month, it's the best way you can support us, and you get extra content when you do. Like feet pics. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for the 1,000 a month tier, yes. Before we even start, drop your favorite tweet of all time down in the comment section. First tweet is a consensus greatest tweet of all time, I hate when girls die. Young Thug, July 4th, 2017. <laughs> yeah, it reads like a Bible verse. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, this is on Independence Day. This is on July 4th. Our country's birthday. <laughs> That's very true. I might be reading into this too much too, but it's also at 10.17 p.m. Shout out to Brick Squad. Big shout out to Brick Squad, <laughs> fans of the show. I just feel like there's no way that when Young Thug tweeted this, he had any idea that it would have the cultural impact that it has. Yeah, I think there's something to doing something casually that makes it so great at the end of the day. Right, you kind of have to stumble into it. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Rest in peace to all the girls, too, that have died. Um, <laughs> what a loss. I hope there are no more that die. Me too. All right, this is an S. <laughs> Obviously. All right, next one. We've got from Sex Haver 4200 John, just seen a Spongebob show on the TV. Why the yellow man don't leave the octopus alone. <laughs> This is so great Holy all for so many reasons. Like not knowing what SpongeBob is. No. Just seeing a SpongeBob show <laughs> on the TV. <laughs> One of the many SpongeBob shows I've I've now seen. And then say, why the yellow man don't leave the octopus alone? <laughs> there is no octopus in the show. Squidward could be an octopus. I guess, but he's a squid. Right. Pretty clearly. <laughs> and then the no profile picture. This is somebody who really stumbled into it. They stumbled onto Twitter that day. They don't even know how Twitter works. Yeah, might as well use my same username I use for everything else, <laughs> SexHaver4200. <laughs> I like that it's so close to 420. Yeah. It's like SexHaver420 was taken, just, so they're SexHaver4200. <laughs> that or they love that tequila. Oh, Is yeah. Is that tequila? Don Julio4200. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boss, couple more 4200 shots. <laughs> it's about how much they cost, too. <laughs> Fucking pricey shit. I want to give this an S, too. I do, too, but I don't like the name SexHaver. Let's go. A. Yeah, A is right. good. It gets lowered down a rung for being sex haver. Yeah. Third one. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> From the Sunny D official Twitter account. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Not the existential dread from Sunny D. Brands becoming people on Twitter has been such a great phenomenon. Uh -huh. I feel like Wendy's kind of pioneered it, mm -hmm. but now it's a, like, think about how easy it is to have an account like Arby's or right. GameStop that has a huge following on Twitter and you could just tweet something like this and instantly go viral and people are talking about your brand. Yeah, you can just hire like any 16 year old and be like, yeah. do whatever you want. Yeah. Tweet how you normally would. You're not <laughs> representing representing the brand, we just want people to laugh. Yeah. I like to imagine that this is like a sincere cry for help from yeah. the CEO, and he is like, well, it's the only way I can reach a lot of people. <laughs> and people are commenting like, fuck you, you're not even orange juice, like, your shit sucks. <laughs> He's like checking to see if his ex-wife follows the Twitter account. <laughs> it's like, my kids follow it, I haven't seen them in months. <laughs> I think this is great that this happened, mm -hmm. but as a tweet itself, no. you gotta give it like a C when you're talking about the greatest tweets of all time. I totally agree. Wait a minute, I'm an idiot. We should just give it a sunny D, right? Absolutely, right, a big see. sunny D. All right, it's give it a D. the D. It's a D. Okay, this is another one that is often talked about when discussing the greatest tweets of all time, mm -hmm. and the one I was expecting to see the most when I tweeted that out on the Hive Mind Twitter account. Tyler the Creators, ha 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 ha. How the fuck is cyberbullying real? Ha ha ha. Just walk away from the screen. Like, close your eyes. Ha ha. <laughs> oh, and this one comes in 2012. I feel like this kind of predates some more serious cyberbullying activities, so it True. hasn't aged that well. Right. Because we've kind of seen the repercussions of the extent the damage can do. But the concept of seeing something on the screen, like, you get a visual of right. somebody walking away from a screen and after it says, like, you're ugly. <laughs> 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 or, like, you suck at Halo or whatever was going on in 2012. Or like, 
asterisk gives wedgie, you <laughs> just walk away. You don't actually have to get that wedgie. That's true. <laughs> I still think this is one of the greatest ones of all time. It's an A, though. Yeah. It's it's, no, I, it should be an S, but I agree with time. Yeah, with time, it just hasn't... It's not as funny as it was. The yeah. visual's still there, and it's still really well composed, but it's just not as laughable. All right, next one. <laughs> We've got someone tweeting, I've got jury duty, and then just a poll, innocent, guilty. <laughs> Uh, you tell me, Twitter. I don't care. You're not even listening to the case. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. It is. Oh, it's a close one. <laughs> this is like a. This is like a B, though. Yeah, it's a B. I it, mean, it's a basic it, concept, but it's really funny. Great use of Twitter. Have you ever done jury duty? No, fuck that. What do you mean, fuck that? You don't get the choice. I mean, yeah, you do. Don't they send you a letter? Well, yeah, but you can rip it up. <laughs> God, I think that's a felony. I don't even really know what a felony is, honestly, so I'm not <laughs> super worried about it. See, I do one of two things. I either rip it up or I just put it in my neighbor's mailbox. <laughs> <laughs> Tough break, Bill. That's three times this month. <laughs> Next one. We've got... <laughs> Skrillex in 2011. Yeah, I'm emo. Who fucking cares? <laughs> I like to think that somebody tested Skrillex's emo that day. You know what I mean? <laughs> G-checked him? Yeah, they were like G-checking him a little bit. They're like, you know? You actually crying, punk? <laughs> you listen to American football? <laughs> yeah. Show me the vinyl. Show me the vinyl. <laughs> the promise ring, rights of spring. Yeah, okay. Come on, Captain Jazz? Yeah. I don't want to hear none of the Fallout Boy, Panic of the Disco. That's not, no, 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 no. We're talking 90s, the Get Up Kids. Heard of them? <laughs> I love that he's trying to prove it really hard at the height of his career. <laughs> he could have used this as a drop. Yeah, I'm emo, who fucking cares? <laughs> 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 Overall, though, I don't think this stands up to the other ones. It is a, no. it's another funny cultural moment on Twitter, but it doesn't make me laugh out loud. I'm no. glad it exists. Yeah, and if you tweeted it, it wouldn't be funny at all. No. And that's kind of my barometer for funny. Right, okay. Where are we going with this? Let's go F. <laughs> Let's F? tank it. F? Absolutely tank it. We're not going to get many opportunities right, to throw right, Fs around, right. so we might Somebody's well. got to get an F. Yeah, let's yeah. flop a big fat fucking F on Skrillex. All right. <laughs> Sorry, Skrillex. <laughs> Tough break. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, God, we might get a chance here. Okay. Uh, this is from Ninja, and he tweeted, I am in the middle of carrying a League of Legends game about to close it out, and my brawless wife brings me a sandwich, in parentheses, not asked for, with chips as I get a double kill bot lane. So how is your day going? <laughs> and then the gif of someone <laughs> sipping a little teacup. <laughs> yeah. My brawless wife brings me a sandwich. Not asked for. Didn't ask for the sandwich. She brought it to me. Brawless. Oh my god, I hate all of this. This was a sincere tweet trying to be a cool guy that yeah. turned into one of the funniest sentences I've ever read. Like, <laughs> it's so funny, but it sucks also. But that's why I, I can laugh at it. Right. Because Ninja's life is laughable to me. Despite how much money he has, I will forever be cooler than him. Yeah, there's some people who no matter how much money they get, I wouldn't switch lives with them. Ninja <laughs> is one of them. <laughs> <laughs> you you could give me all of his money, whatever he got from Mixer or yeah. whatever, and I don't care. I'm yeah. not switching lives with that guy. You go ahead and keep your brawless wife and chip sandwich, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> this is a B. A B? You no. think it's an S? It's like an F and an S combined. So okay. let's make that a C. Yeah. Let's go, let's make right. a sandwich out of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another one that gets brought up pretty often. This is the origin one. I had to look this up on Know Your Meme. So you mean to tell me that a shrimp fry this rice. So obviously this is a structure that people reuse. So you right. might tell me that a boot cut these jeans. Right. That sort of deal. Uh -huh. This is amazing to me that this is what, 2018? I feel like this should have been stumbled on so much longer. Ago. I know. It's like a Dimitri Martin joke. It's just kind of a one-liner formula. And like I used it. So I, That's you know, I, of course, like it's, it's usable and it can be funny. I think 2018 is surprising because it feels longer ago because we're all like, We've all heard these jokes before. Mm -hmm. We're like over it. You yeah. Know? I think this one falls right in the middle because it is such a quintessential part of Twitter, but it's not funny anymore like we've established. All right. Let's go see with it. Yeah. All right. Next, we've got Britney Spears saying, does anyone think global warming is a good thing? I love Lady Gaga. I think she's a really interesting artist. <laughs> I love this formula for a tweet, kind of baiting people in with a hot topic and then just unleashing like your own little opinion about something completely separate. <laughs> Quick mistake direction. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like our comment section, yeah. honestly. It's like, great video, the chemistry is off the chain, you guys are my favorite channel to watch while I eat food. I did not commit several vehicular manslaughters in 1978 <laughs> in central Massachusetts. Nope. <laughs> Classic bait and switch. Uh, let's go B with this? Yeah. Okay. It's very close to an A for me, though. Do you think global warming's real? No. What? Oh, okay. 
Yeah. Why? Well, I don't know. That just seemed like an important question to ask. There's about to be a winter storm, a cyclone bomb, and then that's like snow, and all of a sudden people are like, it's hot out. Mm-hmm. Like, all of a sudden people are talking about, like, the world's getting hotter, and I don't really see how that... Oh. Uh-oh. How can it be global warming if it's so cold outside? If I yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Stop what? Please don't barf, please don't barf, please don't barf. Yeah, I mean, I have, I have to put on a puffer coat when I go outside. How could it be global warming? Mm-hmm. It seems laced with hypocrisy. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Is it going to happen? If it's going to happen, just let it happen. Uh, oh, I'm going to about global warming? Yeah, I kind of agree. It's just going oh, to keep going. Like, what? how much control do we have? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'm all for the idea of saving the planet, uh-huh. but what are we going to do? Save recycling? <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. You seem like you're having some trouble. It is a crisis, a climate crisis. But, oh, but I just don't, I don't see it. I don't see it turning. Oh. I just don't see it turning around personally. But do you want a Tums or something? I don't think Tums is going to help global warming. But, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Compose yourself, Riley. I'm, what? We're having a. Con- it's a tough conversation. Yeah. It's a political conversation, but it's also a sort. <laughs> Next one. Oh, Jesus. This is Kodak Black in 2014 in the car in a pink shirt. I support breast cancer. He supports it. (laughs) Two big thumbs up from Kodak. (laughs) Go breast cancer. He actually just ran a 5K to support breast cancer (laughs) to help the disease (laughs) spread. The synchronicity here is amazing. (laughs) He's just like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he also looks like he's 13 here. Yeah. <laughs> it is 2014. Yeah. This is an actual perfect example of irony. It right. is ironic that yeah. this is, he, he did exactly what he meant not to do. Really the fireman burning down his house type situation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> this is an S. No, the easy S. Yeah, easy, easy S. S. Maybe the best one yet. Next we got Zach Fox with a picture of three <laughs> white people on a jet ski. And it says, this how the photos be looking in headlines when a white man kills his entire <laughs> family. This is so cold. This is the first one that I think is actual comedic genius. Yes. Like the other ones are like stumbling into stuff mm-hmm. or using a formula or whatever. This is actually like a great one-liner joke. You can write yes. this for a TV show. Yes. And people would be like, that's great. This is writer's room stuff. Absolutely. Because it's not quite what they'd use, but it's getting at something here. Yeah, absolutely. Because they never use like the ugly, evil picture. It's like his high school quarterback photo. Yeah. <laughs> Man, he was really cool at one point until it killed everyone. <laughs> it's always like a weird level of like sadness for like the mistake or something instead of just being like, oh, that was a bad thing. It's yeah. All, it's like, oh, what a bummer. He had to go and kill his family. <laughs> he cracked. <laughs> <laughs> he just cracked one day. I hate that the kids like sandwiched in the Yeah, I yeah. hate the whole jet ski element here too. I just thought about it like they all died. Like yeah. they like, <laughs> like killed Murder, suicide. Killed yeah. Everybody in the photo is dead in this joke. Mm-hmm. S? Yeah. Yeah, gotta be. Yes, okay. (laughs) This one is funny because of one specific element. So the actual tweet is from 856 Osama. After you nut in her, you'd be like, damn, she work at a Dollar Tree. I'm (laughs) bugging. With the face palm emoji. But it's promoted on Twitter. They are paying to get this in front of people. So the screenshot is more popular than the tweet itself because it just says promoted at the bottom. Like, why would you promote this tweet? Why are you paying for people to see this? They obviously think they're funny and they should be with a higher class of person, I guess. Like, they're bummed out for having sex with someone who works at a Dollar Tree. Some of the best action I've ever gotten was in a Dollar Tree. That's kind of unrelated. It has zero likes in yeah. the screenshot. Zero likes, just promoted. I saw one. One, another one like this that was something about a Waffle House or something. Somebody's got to find that one for me. Funny promoted tweets. If you can send those to me, yeah. because that always makes me laugh so hard when someone pops up and I'm like, you're not even selling anything. No. Like, you're just spending money for people to see your tweet. It's like buying a billboard and just like putting a joke on it. Yeah. <laughs> Being like, isn't that good? I did that. <laughs> I paid a thousand dollars for that. Isn't that funny? It's up for three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> this is an A. 
This is an A. That's an fine. A. It's close to an S. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't promoted, it'd be middle of the pack. Wait, maybe it should be an S just for being promoted like this. You know what? Let's give them their money's worth. <laughs> this is an S. <laughs> All the way to the top. Yeah, it has to be. I mean, <laughs> you got to invest in yourself. Uh -huh. All right, next one. This is the first one that has two tweets. Okay. Base Savage 3600 tweets, I'll serve crack before I serve this country. <laughs> and then responds to himself and says, here come all the handicapped dudes who lost their arms from a grenade for a Camaro in my mentions. A grenade <laughs> for a Camaro <laughs> makes this so funny. Every ex-military guy I know drives either a Hellcat, a Camaro, or like a beefy truck. Yeah, totally. So true. I love that the second one seems rushed out too. Like he was getting flooded with hate and he was like, okay, here they come with their grenade arms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people who think this is the funniest tweet of all time. I think it's a strong A close to an S. Yeah. Okay. It's a strong A for me too. Next one. Our friend. Oh, here we go. This tweet comes from Suicide Rascal who says, Alt bitch sent me a Spotify playlist. Bitch, I'm from the hood. Do I look like I listen to Bajonk? <laughs> A perfect misspelling of Bjork. Yes. Just, I can't even believe he came up with this. It is so funny. Like, Knowing Kate, he didn't. You think it was an accident? I would believe it. I think it's funny that I know Kate, like I know Rascal really, like one of my best friends, he would listen to Bjork. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing yeah. is like, he listens to like the Cocteau Twins. Yeah, and, like, right. like he listens to a bunch <laughs> of shit from the, like, he listens to Slow Dive. Like this is just a perfect tweet as a joke. And I love how you have to pronounce it. Bajonk. Bajonk. Yeah, you can't say it like Bjork. Like, no. Like, Say, yeah. Oh God. Bajonk. This is golden. This is like frame it, put it in your kitchen. People Absolutely. come over, talk about it. That needs to be the new kitchen decor. Like yeah. How they have live, laugh, love signs, uh -huh. or like plenty of people have eaten in this kitchen and gone on to lead normal lives. Yeah. Like random. Like you know, so I I love cooking with wine. Sometimes uh -huh. I even put it in the food. Uh -huh. You know, stuff like that. We need just framed tweets. Yes. That would be really good. It's genius. When we finally build our hype house, we can do that. I have my hype house. Yeah. yeah absolutely. We've been talking about that. I broke ground last week, but. It's not gonna work out. I think I'm actually gonna get my own place in Hacienda oh. uh, and kind of chase the music thing for a little bit. I'm kind of like a vampire, low key. Shit, I didn't see that one coming. All right, uh, this is an S to me. Absolutely, top of the line. Here we go, next one. This is four tweets. Okay. <laughs> First tweet from Milkton at Locally Stupid. You ever get so tired you start seeing spiders? With a response that says, me after I take 17 Benadryl and start seeing the hat man. And then <laughs> the first person says, the who in all caps? <laughs> And then they say, oh, this is not a safe space suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing spiders, normal. Seeing the hat man, the who? Who the heck is that? <laughs> I have seen the hat man, and I huh? just want to say, not as scary as people say. Seems like a nice guy. Pretty nice. I yeah. mean, the one time he was wearing a tracksuit and smoking cigs in the corner of the room, I've, I've talked about that on the channel plenty of times, but uh -huh. that was a chill vibe. Yeah. It was like a little bit alarming at first, but I mean, I mean, I don't know. He's just kind of chills. He gave me directions to Santa Fe the other night in a dream. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I was driving from Cleveland to Santa Fe, taking my aunt across country for whatever reason. And right. Yeah, I got lost in the Midwest somewhere, uh -huh. and I stopped on the side of the road, and he was there, and he directed me straight to Santa Fe. Easy. Oh, is that where you were all last week? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So this was real life. No, I was in a coma. A coma, Washington? You're way out of the way. You gotta go <laughs> south. You gotta get on the 65, get heading yeah. south. Yeah. I like that they're new to Benadryl Twitter. Yeah. That's what I really like. Right. Is they're, they're like seeing spiders. They're kind of a novice on Benadryl Twitter. Uh -huh. and they're just hearing of the hat man. That's a special moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go like a B on this, I think. I'd say even lower. i say a C. Oh, it's, really? It's cozy for this one. It's funny, but nothing here was really intended to be that funny. Right, right. The safe space suddenly is definitely the That's best good, tweet yeah. itself of those. Next, we got Keemstar. <laughs> who tweeted, Israel and Palestine need study John Lennon imagine. I read that correctly, by the <laughs> yeah. way. Oh, it hurts. Oh, it one hurts sentence. hurts my brain. I think this was tweeted in sincerity. This is 2014. Imagine there's no money. Imagine all the people. Keemstar saved the world. Ooh, woo -hoo, woo -hoo. John didn't die for this shit to happen, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Holy shit. Fuck you, Keemstar. Yeah. Fuck this, you, straight to hell. This is an F, and we're getting to his next, another tweet of his next. Okay. So, okay, that's an F. Next we've got <laughs> this one I actually love. Gamestar tweeted on Christmas Eve of 2016, I just hit a dog <laughs> going 70 miles per hour on my truck. <laughs> on my truck, not in my truck. Such a shitty Xmas Eve RN. It ran right up on the highway. <laughs> I hate this year so much. <laughs> I love the reply. <laughs> and then the reply is, yes, it does. Ha ha ha! 
truly someone really bummed about the way life is going and accidentally wrote the funniest tweet we may have seen today. I think so. I love that he had to respond. Like, everyone's asking him, well, did it die? Yeah. I was going 70. <laughs> it didn't live. It was, on his truck. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm on my truck the other day. <laughs> it's a Facebook status as a tweet. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I could see someone that I went to high school with putting this as their Facebook status and people being like, oh my God, so sorry. Yeah. Hope the dog's okay. Yeah. It died. It died. <laughs> yes, it died. This is an S for me. Absolutely. We get I, to go on both sides. We get an F yeah. from Keemstar and an S from Keemstar. Well, this one hilarious. Nothing quite as funny as roadkill. <laughs> <laughs> now, if a roadkill joke's the hardest you've laughed in years, you might be a redneck. <laughs> Bring back the coal mines. Uncheat <laughs> <laughs> my wife with me. <laughs> Keemstar blasts a Rottweiler going 70 miles an hour on his truck. The cutest thing this Christmas Eve. Next one. <laughs> We've got Nori tweeting she and racial chat rooms showing feet. Oh. <laughs> this is about Doja Cat. Okay. So this was a big scandal with Doja Cat where people were accusing her of being <laughs> in like racist chat rooms. There's this whole scandal with Doja uh -huh. Cat. You can look it up. But this tweet, just off the cuff commentary about it is so funny for some reason. It's like a visceral humor to it. I love that it's not racist chat rooms either. Racial. Yeah, they're yeah. racial. <laughs> I don't know exactly what What's going on? But it's racial. <laughs> you just imagine a group of people laughing really hard at this after, like you told them. Yeah. You're like, you hear about Doja Cat? She in racial chat room showing feet. And everybody's like, oh. I want to say it's an A. I, I think it's an A. That's fair. This tweet comes from Brent. No rapping tonight. Why? You rap about Patrick Swayze every time. It's embarrassing. Okay. After one beer. Uh oh, y'all. It's getting kind of hazy. <laughs> <laughs> one beer. This one just tells such a story yeah. too, because it lets you finish the joke. Uh -huh. Like, I love ones that do that. It has the implication. Like, leads you right there. Leads you there and you, uh oh, y'all, it's getting, <laughs> especially that it leads you there with like a rap. Like, it starts rapping at the end to let you do the next bar. You just know it rhymes with Patrick Swayze and it's about to be about him. Uh oh, y'all getting hazy. I'm sitting here chilling with Patrick Swayze. We in the club dirty dancing like it's Patrick Swayze. Yep. I hit it, then I'm going ghost like Patrick Swayze. Uh-huh. Like Got that it. ghost is good. Right. This is an S. S? It is. Yeah, okay. I like it. It's really funny. I like it, yeah. It's kind of a subtle, it's like a sneak, it's like the Bengals going to the Super Bowl. Yeah. You know what I mean? It sneaks up on you. Uh-huh. Well, it's just like a good script. Yeah, this is another kind of writer's room one. Mm -hmm. I feel like comedians would respect this yeah. as a setup. All right. Uh, the original tweet is somebody named Gave It. First time breaking down a turkey. Now let me go fry this grill up and smoke these legs. And there's a turkey sitting. First picture is a turkey sitting on a pan, seemingly in a bed. <laughs> <laughs> the second one is broken open with the grease of the turkey staining the sheets of the bed. Significant grease puddle around the turkey. And then somebody quote tweeting it and saying, are you in the bed? I love the idea of your bed being soiled by raw meat water. Raw poultry water. The decision not only to break down the turkey in your bed, but to like document it and then put it out on Twitter is insane. It's comedic genius. Yeah. This is also so very much amateur Twitter user. Yeah. Like, this is somebody who's being made a spectacle of because they made, <laughs> they made a mistake. See, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of on the opposite end here. I think they knew exactly what they were doing. Oh, really? And they might even have so much money that they're just going to throw these sheets out for the next prank. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? They're like, okay, break it down in the bed. If you can, like, have your facts straight and distort them, if you can masquerade yes. as somebody who doesn't know what they're doing, exactly. you're good on Twitter. Exactly, you know? yeah. This is an A for me. It's not quite an mm -hmm. S. It does make me laugh out loud, but yeah. it's Yes. super gross. Yeah, it is gross. It's a good A. <laughs> All right, next one. We got Young Gleesh. Okay. Tweeting, an American soldier swear he be doing shit for somebody. Boy, you don't get your buzz cut, big boot, yes sir, face ass boy. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't even go anywhere. <laughs> Doesn't even, yeah, just ends. It's just a roast. Yeah. Like, this is like when you're on Instagram Live and you're trying to go back and forth roasting each yes. other. It's just that. It's uh -huh. firing off at True. you. Big boot, yes, sir, face ass boy. <laughs> I love the hate for the troops, too. That's like a pretty funny theme on Twitter. Right. When people just drag soldiers through the mud because you know it's going to draw that insane reaction from the veteran community. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Bush. No. Who? I don't think Mr. Bush. What is Mr. Bush? 
have to do with it. Uh, sign me up. Wait, you don't have to sign up anymore. Send me wherever I need to go. <laughs> You're flat-footed and you're 36. I'll, you can't go. I'll do it. Just give me a gun. What do you mean? Give me two guns. What? I want to dual wield like John Wick. <laughs> you literally are not eligible for the military. Freedom! <laughs> Rest easy, Lady Liberty. You're safe. <laughs> yeah, this one feels like middle of the road for me. It's like a B or a C, maybe. Yeah, it's funny, but it's not that much funnier than your average Twitter. Right. You know? Anybody could whip this out. Right. Young Gleesh is a legend, though. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Young Gleesh. Next, we've got... Oh, this is a pair of tweets. This is all about juxtaposition. Okay. Uh, we've got Kim Kardashian West tweeting, to the media trying to demonize my husband, let me say this. Your commentary on Kanye being erratic and his tweets being disturbing is actually scary. So quick to label him as having mental health issues for just being himself when he has always been expressive is not fair. And then him tweeting less than an hour prior, I'm nice at ping pong. <laughs> for all the crazy tweets Kanye's actually posted, for this one to be side by side with Kim defending him as this massive creative <laughs> genius that's like wild and free yeah. and out there and the media's deeming that him and he's just like, I'm pretty sick of this. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a normal guy thought. Like, low key, I'm nice at ping pong. Like, my backhand's gotten a lot better since we bought the table. <laughs> this is an S. S? I like it. I think I think this one has to be an A. It's not quite as funny as the other ones. Okay, I'll settle there. A on it. All right, next one. I think this is the original. It might not be. I don't know how recent this is, but apparently December, if this is the first one. Okay. Quirked up white boy with a little bit of swag, bust it down sexual style, dot dot. Is he goaded with the sauce? The phrase that's swept the nation right now. It is one of my favorite formulas. I think this is kind of the new shrimp fried rice thing. Yeah. Because now I see people replacing all the words in it uh -huh. to make something a little bit different or whatever. But just saying, is he goaded with the sauce? Is legendary. It, like people say that in real life now. Oh, yeah. This tweet changed the landscape of the way people speak. <laughs> Yeah, I also feel like it could save uh, white boys from embarrassment for the rest of our lives. I was going to say, white boy summer uh, quickly got kind of squashed yes. in the face of controversy. Mm -hmm. Chet Hanks, not exactly the best spokesperson. No. And then you get quirked up white boys with a little bit of swag. All you need is a little bit. Yes. Busting it down sexual style is where it gets tricky. You yes. Know? <laughs> That's I'm, not easy. I'm not quite sure how to do that yet. I know, especially for quirked up white boys, it is a difficult thing to do. Yeah, but yeah. when it's achieved, that's when one becomes goaded with said sauce. Lost. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and on the heels of Joe Burrow making it to the Super Bowl, right. I mean, this phrase has really got a lot of momentum going right mm -hmm. now. Um, this is absolute quality. S, S tier. S tier, yeah. yeah. It's a pioneering tweet. All right, here we go. So the original tweet is, since Drake dropping, let's get these facts out the way. With a picture of Drake and then a greater than sign and then a picture of Kanye. Uh huh. <laughs> With somebody quote tweeting it saying, this person typed in Drake sexy and Kanye fat in Google images before making this. <laughs> <laughs> literally. I know, literally. This imagined what they were doing behind a com computer screen and called them out for it, which yep. is so good because they had to do that. Right. Like you had to type in Drake sexy <laughs> to get this picture and then Kanye fat to make Drake look better than Kanye. <laughs> it's so good. I also love that this person's like, decision on what's going to be better is like, well, Drake's sexy and Kanye's <laughs> fat, so we know who's better here. This is kind of like the media thing that Zach Fox was calling out too, yes. where you make somebody look good based on something mm -hmm. that is unrelated, and then you make somebody look bad based on something that's unrelated. Like, this person doesn't like Kanye and likes Drake, right. and decided to portray them in their best and their worst <laughs> to separate them, just to make their argument stand up on Twitter. Yep. And then somebody just went in and just pulled the thread and the sweat came undone <laughs> as they walked away, yeah. like that Weezer song says. <sighs> this one's really good, but it's not that funny. It's just kind of like unveiling. Right. I like it. It's a, it's a B. Yeah, it's, it's a, a good, good B. B. Good B. A strong B. Do you ever just wonder what it would feel like to hit somebody with a bat? Like, just the sensation of it. Obviously, you know, I'm saying like, there's nobody in particular I want to hit. I don't want to hurt anybody. I'm saying like, what would that feel like on your hands? You ever hit a mailbox with a bat? Yeah, it hurts. Right. It like shakes your, your hands yeah. like vibrate. You feel like you got electrocuted mm -hmm. if you do it. <laughs> yeah. If you do it right. Because <laughs> you really got to <laughs> knock that thing over. Yeah. Think about hitting a person with that. It would just, oh, that blunt force trauma. I mean, ooh boy, would it be satisfying? 
Yeah, maybe. I've done it with a golf club, and let me tell you, yes. Oh, wait, you hit somebody with a golf club? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, my high school bully. <laughs> it was last week, but he had it coming. <laughs> Dude, you are in your late 30s. He had it coming. Did he see it coming? No. Oh, oh no. He was asleep. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, and, like, the courses are closed. I got to keep my swing loose for the season. I like the idea of you walking into a dark bedroom where your high school bully is sleeping, and you turn to your caddy, and you're like, what do you think, nine iron? <laughs> <laughs> he had 156 yards of the window. No breeze. It's 73 degrees in his house. Give me the pitching wedge. He's like, I don't think you can get it there. Give me the pitching wedge. <laughs> oh, he's still alive. Hand me my putter. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna finish him off with a little tap. <laughs> You pick the ball out of his mouth, tip your cap to his wife, and leave the house. The kids. <laughs> his kids are like, he was a dick anyway, thanks. <laughs> We're staying with shirtless pics here. Okay. We got an original tweet from Bryce Hall. It's a picture of him and all his TikTok buddies, all shirtless at the pool. And it says, you see us all at the pool, what are you doing? And then a quote tweet that says, killing myself in front of you to forever change your bond and the trajectory of your lives. <laughs> Holy smokes. A type of tweet that'll turn you gray. Yeah. Like, you are just like, wow. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Like, I mean, people have disdain for Bryce Hall. That's fair. And, like, I'm sure a lot of these replies are, like, puking, like, drowning you, like, anger directed right at them. Um, covering my cup. You yeah. know, like, that sort of thing. This person takes it all the way around 360 style, <laughs> style and says, I'm going to murder myself <laughs> in front of you. And traumatize and you and all of your friends. I'm going to sacrifice my life life to fuck you up <laughs> mentally. It doesn't get any more serious than that. Yeah. Because you also prove that you have nothing to lose. Yeah. And it almost implies too that what Bryce Hall has done on this earth has made this person's life yeah. not worth living. <laughs> that the last good thing they could do is alter the trajectory of Bryce Hall's life by suiciding themselves in front of him. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. It's dark and it's beautiful. It's visual. It's poetic. I think that a writer's room would also love this joke and not put it on TV because yeah. it is a little too much. Yeah, it's one of those ones that gets all the writers laughing, keeps the room loose, and then they move on. Right, exactly. Yeah. This is an S, though. Oh, this is an S. Next, we got another visual tweet okay. from Playboy Cardi. This one in 2018 has a stick figure baby mama kicking a stick figure me down the stairs. <laughs> Did he did like, construct this himself? I don't know. That or it seems like one of those you'd get off a forum, like back in the day, like a MySpace or a Reddit thing. You copy and paste it or whatever. Yeah, you like yeah. copy and paste it and you add your own like twist to it. I can't imagine Playboy Cardi sitting there like doing the math. Like, right. Okay, all right. All right. 17 spaces. Yeah, was, okay. A couple spaces here, a couple spaces here. It is kind of poorly constructed. Constructed Like that last step has a weird little space in it, but you yeah. need that for the leg, I guess. This kind of like art when people do the text art is yeah. so strange. I love the that the baby mama has a baby bump. Yeah. Up her a little parentheses, a little, little close parentheses. This is like a C. Yeah, C. But I do love that it's visual. I yeah. love that it's like old school, mm -hmm. retro visual. This tweet comes from Will Sennett. My mom found and threw away my box of ants. I was so close to having enough ants. <laughs> For what, Will? <laughs> exactly. That's the biggest question here. What did you need a certain amount of ants for? I like that there's a type of guy who's collecting ants yes. and his mom threw it away. Like, you just create a type of person. Yeah, this is great. Uh, I, I'm gonna give it a B, though. Yeah, this seems like an A to me, though. I'm down with an A. All right, let's pull it up to an A. Let's pull it up to an A. It's the mystery for me. Yeah, I don't know what's enough ants, but I definitely have too many uncles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Stop! Idiot. Hate you, dick. <laughs> stop! Stop! Just literally, stop, stop fucking stop. doing it. Just you stop, stop fucking. You're doing the one it. doing it. We literally are trying to film stop. that video. So stupid. You stop. Oh my god. All right, this tweet comes from Hello Cullen. Me and my friends would have killed ET with hammers. I can tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of my favorite tweets of all time. Oh, I love this tweet. I've seen this one before. Yeah. And at first, it's just funny. Right. Like, it's just the visual. It's funny. You're taking a cute children's beloved movie. But then... Then you think about it, and you're like, holy shit. I think me and my friends would have killed E.T. with hammers. <laughs> yeah, if I saw something that looked like that, I would absolutely stomp it out immediately. Yo, guys, get over here. We gotta kill this thing. <laughs> it's not from here. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and we'd like thank ourselves for doing it. We'd yeah, be like, oh my Jesus, God. we're heroes. <laughs> can, can you imagine if you let that thing hide in your basement and ride your bike and shit like that? <laughs> Absolutely not. Its finger was glowing. What the <laughs> hell was that the fuck thing? was wrong with it? S? Yeah, it's a, this is a big time ass. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of the Super Bowl, this tweet is from Joe Burrow. In March of 2013, he tweeted, I wish the Jamaican man in Yeezus had more parts. <laughs> I like this adolescent brain yeah. trying to process this thought and getting it out there. And it comes off as like innocent, stupid thought. Yeah, I love the idea that Joe Burrow is just like a sophomore in Athens, Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> Listening to Yeezus one, current football star probably at that time in high school, and then letting this one fly. Oh, it's so funny. Yeah, shout out to Assassin. That's who he's talking yeah. about. <laughs> That's who he's talking about. On and there. shout out Joe Shiesty. And it is a childhood tweet, so I'm going to pull it down from the up, up ranks and oh, maybe yeah. give it a B. Yeah, it's a B. Next one, from the great Danny DeVito himself. October 16th, 2009, the dawn of Twitter. Wow. Just gaming. Wow. Talk about one that's aged like fine wine. <laughs> Speaking of aged like fine wine, how old was Danny DeVito in 2009? Danny DeVito was 65 years old. He's 77 now? Like 78? Yeah, I think so. He was born in 1944. Jesus, no. the end of World War II gave us Danny DeVito. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. A 65 year old man in the first couple years of Twitter tweeted gaming. Just gaming. He was gaming. I love this tweet for its context for everything about it, honestly. But uh, it's an A. It's an A. It's an A because it's not funny as like, somebody else tweeted this, right. it's whatever, it doesn't matter. It's just that a 65 year old Danny DeVito, when Twitter was just starting, mm -hmm. tweeted just the word gaming. Yeah. Next we've got from unidentified smiling object, cheating at horse racing by giving the horse an earpiece where I can tell it what to do next. In parentheses, <laughs> run faster. <laughs> This is a writer's room epic. Like, yes. oh my God, what a smart ass joke. Simple, but it's so smart. No, there's no strategy to horse racing. Mm -mm. And you're somehow getting an advantage. You're the also, jockey whipping the horse in the ass is not enough. You're telling it. You're telling the horse. The horse doesn't know what you're saying. <laughs> Think about what, it, what an earpiece for a horse would look like. And then you've got somebody in it going, run faster, run faster, run faster. Run faster. Turn left. <laughs> <laughs> and cheating is rampant in horse racing anyway. Yeah. And so that you're doing like a non-effective form of cheating. It's gold. Well, the horses cheat on their wives a bunch, right? Because yeah. they're athletes. Yeah. Yeah. They have a lot athletes. of options. They travel and they're yeah. so in shape. And uh -oh. you know what I mean? The other horses are just throwing themselves at them. And <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, the sex drive is huge. Yeah. And the horse cocks are massive, you know? <laughs> they, yeah. So, yeah. S? Yeah. Okay. Next, this is a tweet from Metro Boomin in 2011 has one retweet. Don't get me wrong. J. Cole is talented. Anytime I can't sleep, Friday Night Lights puts me cold out. Sleep on track one. <laughs> that is icy. <laughs> that is icy cold. And he probably fired that off like, this is funny. Like, yeah. This is going to make my friends laugh. Right. And J. Cole is corny. Yeah, and J. Cole's never going to see it. But now J. Cole has definitely seen it, and they've definitely met multiple times. They probably have worked together at I'm some sure point. they have. He had to shake J. Cole's hand at one point. Oh, absolutely. I've thought about that. Like, I've made a lot of jokes on Twitter about mm. anybody. I never thought I'd meet anybody of social stature, so I tweet, I let it fly. Yeah. So someday I'm gonna shake hands with Lil Xan probably and be like, yeah. Gary Sinise. Just don't look up your name and my Twitter app. That's it's all right. I'm, this is solid though. This is really funny in itself. Yeah, it's okay. It, it, yeah. I like it because it's because of how it's aged and right. stuff. But like as a tweet itself, it's whatever. Let's go C. I think it's a D. Okay. I think we need to we need to have another D to yeah. settle this one. Okay. You know? Yes, I love this one. <laughs> Bruno Mars in March of 2012 simply tweets. Boobs, smiley face. <laughs> I can't get enough of this tweet. Oh, it's just so funny. I just picture like the content. I'm just picturing Bruno Mars actually laying on like 50 breasts. You know what I mean? There's just, like tons of women around him and oh, they yeah. all have their boobs out and he's like, <laughs> Boobs. <laughs> he's in silk pajamas, obviously. Yeah. There's tons of cans around him. And he's like, God, I love these things. He was popular at the time. Yeah, like, this is I mean. not like a tweet that he tweeted like way before his fame. No. You know, he blew up with Fallout Boy in yeah. like 2008. Here, wait a second. How old was Bruno Mars in 2012? Bruno Mars was 27 years old. Okay. 
That's getting a little old to be tweeting boob smiley face, but not that bad. No. That's that's cool. Yeah, he was definitely swimming in a sea of boobies. Too. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, there were boobs everywhere. He was just recognizing and appreciating the moment he found himself in, which is really hard to do as a celebrity. You know me, I like big cans, mm-hmm. but to Bruno Mars, they must be huge. I mean, that guy's <laughs> tiny. You know, big cans are just big. He's like, wow, <laughs> whoa, lady, holy crap. He like jumps up and sits on him. <laughs> I think this is an A. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's no creativity involved. No. It's just a nice, I, I love that it exists as a visual. It's similar to Danny DeVito gaming. Holy shit, this is about to be a 10 year old tweet. Yeah, that's crazy. I didn't even think about that. 2012 is about to be 10 years. I mean, it is 10 years yeah. ago, but like. Bruno Mars is about to be 40. Oh shit. Yeah, he's he's 37 right now then. Wow. Bruno Mars is about to be 40 and he's still kind of a playboy. Last one, I am going to concede. The, this one's up to you. This was sent in okay. as a response. And I'm going to read it. All right. This one comes from Riley from Hive Mind, March 14th, 2021. You're telling me a cis teen built this chapel? Kind of my uh, my claim to fame right there. Yeah. B- bigger than any video we've ever dropped on this channel content wise. <laughs> I remember this being in your drafts and we were like driving to my house. No, we were driving home. We got drunk as yeah. hell and I fell asleep on your couch. Yes. And you and were, were driving me home. In the morning. And and we went through yellow light, yep. coffee. Chicken biscuits. Yeah, we got some chicken biscuits. Mm-hmm. And then we were driving home and I had it. And I read it to you in the drafts and like switched the wording up. And then I was like, I'm going to fire this one off. Did not think. I knew it was good. Yeah. But never could I have imagined. That yeah, your this. life's been altered. Uh-huh. You're kind of living in a pre and post this tweet world. Yeah, somebody out there is selling hats with this tweet embroidered on them and making thousands, hand over fist making money on my tweet. But I actually don't really care. It's nice. It's fine, yeah. I mean, there's nothing higher than S, so it's gotta go in the S. Mm, I don't think we should put it as, we'll look like assholes. I guess you were wherever shrimp shrimp fried rice is. Nah, it's funnier than that though. (laughs) Then it's a B. It's funnier than shrimp fried rice. We have to admit that. Yeah, it is. I know that that's the formula. That's the predecessor. You know, this is what we want from society. We want the students to get smarter than the teachers. Absolutely. You know shrimp I mean? fried rice crawled so you could fly above the clouds. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And look at how beautiful your wings are and your feathers. They're periwinkle and soft to the touch. And your beak. It's so long. <laughs> and your <laughs> And your little bird ears that are just holes in your head. Oh, that feels fucking good. Fly, little bird. Fly! (laughs) (laughs) This is a good uh, B or an A for me. Okay. Okay, I'll is take it? I'll take A. I okay, think, I think A. <laughs> okay. I think it's really good. It's in my top five tweets of all time for mm-hmm. sure. And you have a phenomenal Twitter. Go follow Riley on Twitter if you want more bangers like that. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and go follow you on Twitter if you want one tweet every couple months. Yeah. <laughs> and it's usually just a song. <laughs> well, this is our best tweets of all time tier list. The tweets were chosen by you. Follow us on Twitter if you want to participate in other games. Let us know your favorite tweet of all time down in the comment section. Let us know other tier lists we should do. O- other than that, make sure you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. All that stuff I said at the beginning of the video. And lastly, Graydon, do you want to leave these wonderful people with some advice to leave or live their lives by? Hold me. One day, time will die, and love will bury it. All right, all right, this has been TV. We love you, appreciate you. We'll see you in the next video. I love you, Jeff Gordon, if you're watching. Uh, Grant, can you just ping me the rest of these on Slack? Just put them in the Slack chat. AOC, more like AO no. <laughs> it's not looking good for the earth. <laughs>